first day at noon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there on time. Okay, all right, but we got these tracks ready, ready to record. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Man, I was uh concentrating on the word of God last night and today. And God showed me, man, God took me to Deuteronomy. And I was listening to the word of God that was being spoken for Moses. And you know, when we normally cut tracks, we talk about Jesus. We know Jesus is the word. God sent his word down. We come flesh. Well, month. And we saw his glory. And we see his glory every day. When we talk to each other, the word of God is being spoken. God took me there and he showed me where Moses let them know where the word of God was. Okay, check this out. If you obey the voice of the Lord, your Lord to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in the book of the law, and if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, this commandment which I command you today is not too mysterious, is not too mysterious for you, nor is it for all. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will ascend into heaven for us and bring it to us that we may hear it and do it? Nor is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over? Word flesh and name. 
named him Jesus. And you know, Paul even said, be careful not to worship the creature rather than the creator. God's word made heaven and earth. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Nothing was made without him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life. And that life was the life of all men. And when God sent his word down and impregnated me, that was the same word that was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the furnace. That was the Son of God. His very word. And when Jesus left us, he said, I'm not coming back until you see Bless is who comes in the name of the Lord. Now, man, I really want to put all this on the track, but we can't do it. We can't do it, man, because God let me know. He made me remember what Paul said. And he said in 1 Corinthians, I come to you with milk, not with solid food. Not this time, because there's too much envy and strife in the hearts of people. God said he's going to give milk first. So we're going to work on the milk. We're going to pray that God give us milk. And it could be meat to those who are strong, but milk to those who need to come, who don't have that soft heart. You got to change the heart. Brother, we're going to do this today. We're going to do this today. <laughs> All right, brother. We look forward to coming to the studio, man, laying this track down. All right. I'll be there and listen. Take it easy. Take it easy. God bless you. Every time you pray and you 
you say in Jesus' name, keep conscious. Sometimes you can even say in the name of the word of God. That's even better. Because you got to know his name. Because he's going to tell a lot of people, I do not know you. Because when I was hungry, you didn't give me nothing to eat. And when I was thirsty, you didn't give me nothing to drink. When I was in prison, you didn't even come visit me. Now, you gonna say, when did I see you home? When did I see you thirsty? When did I see you in prison? Now, the food he talking about is the living bread. The living water, man, that's what he talking about. When you seen that man that was drunk, he needed to be ministered to. When you seen that dude in prison, and it's a lot of them in there. It's a lot of Jesus Christ in there. It's a lot of the word of God in prison. When we speaking right now, me and me, when two or more come together in my name, I'm in the midst. Because we know his name. His name is the word of God, Revelation 19. Now, when you speak to me, and you speaking on him, you speaking the word of God, you speaking Jesus, he coming out of you. And when I speak to you, the word of God, it's in the air. Even people over there that just hear us, but not between us, they hear. Man, this is the fruit right here. This is the very fruit that comes from the branch. You the branches. Once you receive him, he the vine, he the true vine. You are the branches, we are the branches. Once you receive him, then when the word, when you grow, as you grow spiritually, then you gonna bear fruit. See what I'm saying? Once you bear fruit, and you start speaking the word, you gonna start planting seeds in different people. You know what I'm saying? Once you become a branch, you gonna start planting seeds and they gonna grow. And they gonna start producing fruit. And the fruit is the word of God. But if you plant a tree, God said he planted a tree in the ground. And in three and a half years, it still didn't bear no fruit. Wouldn't speak the word of God. But, the, but he planted the fruit, planted the seed. And he told the keeper of the field, which was his word. Jesus Christ. That, that's, that, that, that seed I planted, that tree ain't bearing no fruit. It's wasting my soul. What? He said, cut it down. And then the keeper of the field, which was Jesus, said... Why don't we give it one more year? And let me fertilize it. Let me tend to it. Let me speak the word into it. And if it bear fruit, well. But if it don't bear no fruit, then we'll cut it down. So when you do receive a seed, man, I'm just a man, I'm nobody. I'm a nobody, honest. All I am is just a branch off that vine. And then, once he give it to me, I give it to you, or I give it to you. But when you get it, man, there's people out there that's gonna become a branch off your branch. What? You know what I'm saying? And he gonna be using you. Because, man, I, I don't even know how much time we got. I know that they said the hour was near. The hour was now. And all I can say is the hour was now. Because we all ain't got much time. You know what I'm saying? Now, we can say, oh, that was 2,000 years ago. Jesus said that it's 2,000 years we've been still here. But do we have 2,000 years left? Man, we pass, we pass death every day. When we go in and come to work, we pass cars death every day. You pass death every day. You know what I'm saying? When we riding them high boosters, 
You know what I'm saying? We pass a dick every day. So we don't know. But when we did bury, we got a hope that we dead and buried, but our spirit is going to call this get caught up. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to hope. Because it ain't promised. You know what I'm saying? That's born again. When you're born again, when you receive that, and you accept he said he ain't coming back until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You know how big that is right there. That saying right there, you know how big that saying is. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He said he's not going to come back until you say it. And I don't care who come to you with it. If the man drunk and he stumble up on you, speaking the word, man, I want you to visualize this drunk man stumbling up to you, speaking the very word of God. Now you can say, man, get on away from me, man. Man, you drunk, how you know God? Man, get on away from here. Now, guess what? Now, when you walk away, you and your friend laughing at that man, man, he just might get sober and be Jesus. You know, you could have been entertaining an angel and didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's deep. That's deep. And then, that's why I say, God is really making it hard now. Because how can the person, man, if you really think about it, you know, I can, but a lot of people can't. How can you say blessed is he who bringing me to work okay. if that so man drinking or that man smoking a cigarette? Man, man, I was the same way. Man, how you gonna tell me something about God and you over there smoking a cigarette? What? You know what I'm saying? He making it hard. The reason he making it hard, man, because heaven is a pure place. Heaven is a pure place, and you gotta have a pure heart. He say only pure vessels coming in there. Man, when you get up there, you ain't no room for you to be saying, how in the world he get here? Cause if you don't know that answer, then you won't be there. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's gonna be somebody just like you, looking just like one of us, or looking like somebody else at that gate as a gatekeeper. What? And he gonna be standing there and he gonna be the word of God. Because Jesus, once you receive the word in you, that Holy Spirit, that help of Jesus said coming, he in you. Once you receive the word, then the word resides in you. Then the word of God is in you. So when that gatekeeper standing there and, and a man walk up. And he done a lot of, he done all things right. He thought, he thought he went to church twice, twice a week, three, four times a week. He did all the right things. But, you know, but, he looked at people, them sinners and stuff like that, and he stayed away from them because that's what he thought the word was saying to him. Then when he get up there, then you know that gay people gonna say, you know, I really can't let you in here. He gonna say, "Wow, I did all these good things. Just like the rich man and the tax collector. He gonna say, man, I did all these good things, man. I did all the, went to church all the time and did all them good things. And he gonna say, man, in here is nothing but pure vessels. Man, you gonna see some people that was in prison in here. You gonna see some prostitutes in here gonna see some tax collectors in here. Man, it ain't nothing but sinners in here. You didn't read, you must have missed it when Jesus said, I didn't come to call the righteous, I come to lead sinners to repentance. That's something we fail to catch when we full of the law, when we circumcised. You know what I mean? When we circumcised, that's something, oh man. That we fail to get. But that's the key. Now you know. And all you gotta do.
do is just pray and ask God. And guess what name you can use now? The name of the Word of God. Man, see that you go, man. You know what he been telling me, man? Go to Malachi and read that. He said he can change the world in one day. And I believe that because I hadn't seen him. I hadn't seen him change hearts in one day. Man, that's, man, that's why I'm like I am. Just, you know, I'm just, hey, you call me Jesus free. Or what else? You know what I'm saying? That's just me, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's it. Man, I ain't nobody. I ain't never read a, a big book. To complete. Man, I ain't never read a book to completion. Man. And the way God took me in that, I ain't never read it front to cover. I done read it front to cover, but it didn't go in that order. He gave it to me how he wanted. Man, he gave it to me through the way I was living. Whatever part of my life was going on, that's what he allowed me to read. And that's how I got it. If you go from the front to back and you try to read it, man, it's, it's, it's not to be read like that. It's to be opened up when you home. Opened up when you thirst. You know what I mean? Opened up when you in prison. And I ain't saying no jail safe. When you're suffering, that's when it's gonna seep in. That's when you're gonna eat when you're home. Man, have you ever, man, you can't eat nothing when you're home. Man, you know God just told me something. And a lot of places is giving out that junk food. What? Man, I see in places, but they know what I'm talking about. A lot of places giving out junk food. And when somebody come up to you with the real me, you ain't home. What? You know what I'm saying? When somebody come to you with something that's gonna make you grow. You know what I'm saying? Something that's gonna make you rise. You ain't hungry, man. You can't, you can't, you can't accept it. You see what I'm saying, man? Man, that's real stuff right there. That's the kind of stuff. Man, look at here, dog. Look at here. Look at here. Listen to what this here says. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am corn, soul unseen. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do that I do not practice, but what I hate that I do. Man, you know what he just said? He done turned from sin. Cause he said, that that I hate, that's what I do. I don't want to do it, but that's what I do. This Paul talk, let me know that he didn't realize and accept it himself to be a set. You know what I'm saying? But you let a lot of other people tell you that. They gonna tell you something totally different. You know what I mean? And then it say, if then I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. What? Now, but now, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. Man, I ain't do it, God. You know what I mean? The spirit is with it, but the flesh is weak. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said there. He said, For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, nothing good dwells. Ain't no good while I'm walking around here with you. He said, for to do, for to will is present with me. But how to how to perform what is good, man, I don't find that. Man. And then he said, for the good, 
that I will do, I do not do. But the evil I will not to do, that I practice. He said the evil that I will not to do, that's what I practice. Man, I practice that stuff. And I don't want to do it. I 
represent me to you. Verily, verily, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. And who was he? The Word of God. Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, they are all God to whom the Word of God came. And he also said, isn't it written in your law that I said, they are all God to whom the Word of God came. And who said that? I said. Jesus said. And who's speaking God's word now? I am. Being you by God. Coming to you. That I may bring you life. So when you speak God's word. Who's speaking? You are. He is in you. You are being you by God. God created man in his image, in his likeness. God said, let us make man in our image after our life. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created he, him. Male and female, God created he, them. For those who didn't get that, God created God, him. So when you receive God's word and you speak, you are he. Yeah, you, you are he. You are God. And when I speak God's word, I am he. Because I Shall be one. 